Hey guys, Tom Mason here, and I've been working on something really, really cool that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. Five years ago, I sculpted Sir Frogsworth for the Adventures of Little Knife and Cronin miniatures line. It was my start back into making my own figures, and as you know, I've continued on since to do the Goblin Menace and the Gnome Guard. Well, during that time, I've had a lot of people ask me if I would ever do more with frogs. Well, now's the time. So, this is the start of a series where I'm going to show kind of like a, a development log of what I'm working on and how I went about creating my latest project, The Frog Knights. The project will be going live in just a couple of weeks, so if you'd like to be notified when that goes live, you can click the link down below or sign up for my mailing list and I'll let you know that way as well. Alright, now it's time to show you how I started creating the Frog Knights. I know I've mentioned it from time to time, but one of my favorite things to do before I even begin making the figure is to work on sketches and figure out my designs. I felt that calling even more as I've begun to develop the goblins and the gnomes and now my new effort, the frog knights, to really spend a lot of time on the sketching phase, working out the proportions, the styles, and ultimately the poses before I start getting into any sculpting at all. This turned out to be even more important for the Frog Knights since they weren't going to be a single common design just spread out amongst 20 figures. In this case, I wanted to design three distinct types of figures. Um, that would be the Tadpole Men, the Frog Knights themselves, and these big bullfrog guys. Now the tadpole men and the frog knights are very similar in, in look and style, but there are subtle differences and being able to work out some of those ahead of time on the sketches is a big help. And then going on to the bullfrogs, they were a completely different thing altogether. I wanted them to look like they belonged to the same design family, the same group, but I didn't want them to be too similar. I wanted them to stand out. Some people do and can create and design while they sculpt and that's totally fine but for me I find it much easier and soothing to work it out on paper ahead of time. I know that can be intimidating for some people especially if they don't feel confident in drawing but the truth is you don't have to be great at drawing to get a huge benefit out of developing your sketches and concepting ahead of time. One thing you can do is just by identifying some of the details and things you want on your figure ahead of time. That can save you a lot of time and thought to when you move on to actually sculpting, you just have to execute. It seems like it might save time, and I guess it can depending on how you're wired to just go into sculpting, but once you're in that stage, you're doing more than just coming up with an idea and figuring out what will work for your design. You actually have to start executing. You have to sculpt an item that will work in 3D space. You have to sculpt it so that it will be able to print on a 3D printer well or, or come out uh, and be molded without any issues. So when you start from a place as easy as a piece of paper and a pencil where you can just erase it away, add something different, and quickly work out some of those design decisions ahead of time, I feel like it gives a much stronger design rather than going straight into the sculpt where you become to, you, you start to get into this mindset of getting married to the look and the idea and what it has to be and if you're like me you might really d enjoy drawing I love sculpting and obviously it's it's been the primary form of artistic expression and craft that I've exercised 
but I've always loved drawing. So to be able to do part of this and have it be the the beginning and the core of what ends up being my sculpture is really important to me. So don't forget that fact, you know. I used to try and skip this part a lot when I would sculpt early on. And I could make it work and I got I did great great work, great sculptures. But I always missed and regretted drawing. So anytime I had the chance to be able to sketch ahead of time, I really enjoyed it. And it made the sculpting part itself more enjoyable. I felt more confident and ready to execute my vision. And you don't even have to take it all the way. As you're watching this video, you're seeing me me draw out uh, one of the frog knights and trying to render the image and bring it to more of a state of completion. That's not necessary when you're just concepting. I chose to do it on this one because I wanted to really lock in the design and, and get myself jazzed up about working on these guys and I thought it looked like a neat little little drawing so I decided to push it all the way but don't forget when you're doing this this sort of stage this preliminary stage of working out your concepts you don't have to render everything to a premium quality as if you're you're making a painting you're gonna sell or things like that just working out the simple sketches and ideas, the roughs, on the majority of what you're going to do is, is more than enough. And then if you want to take it further, like I am here, you know, go ahead. You might actually get some use out of it. <laughs> That's another thing I didn't even touch on yet. Is when you do develop these skills, you have another avenue and way to market and present your sculptures. It's not purely based on what you've sculpted, you now have an image, uh, a drawing or a painting or an illustration you can use to put on your Kickstarter or on your website or on your packaging. All of that adds value, whether it's to yourself for completing a drawing you're proud of, or if it's for the people who want to buy your figures. So how about you? How do you go about designing your figures? before you sculpt them. Do you dive right in or do you do some preliminary work like I'm doing here? Let me know down in the comments. I'm excited to show you what comes next in the process, but in the meantime, click the link below so you can be notified when this project goes live. That way you can see how everything came together and was all realized together. Until next time, keep sculpting and drawing.